Hello everyone, this is Eugene Friday speaking. So I don't normally do this kind of stuff, but I just finished watching Captain America Civil War. And with three films out, I wanted to do a sort of comparison between the three films of Captain America. So this video would be titled the Captain America Trilogy Discussion. And just as a warning to you guys, there will be spoilers for the first two movies of Captain America, but I'll try to minimize spoilers for the third one just because it just came out. And uh, by the end of it all, I'll tell you or not whether it's worth watching. So let's get right into it. First off, let's talk about the first movie, Captain America The First Avenger, which is easily my least favorite of the trilogy. And that's mainly because I didn't really understand much about everything that's going on, namely Red Skull and the Infinity Stone, like when he grabbed the Infinity Stone and just melted through him and every other thing, I was like really confused because there was no mention about the Infinity Stones before this and I was like, what the heck? And other flaws included the sheer suddenness of Bucky's death, quotation marks, because he didn't actually die as evident from the second movie, which made me not have much feeling about it because it happened all so suddenly. And I felt that it was really badly done. And besides that, there was the skipping of many action scenes replaced by these weird theater performances. If you guys have watched the first movie, you know what the heck I'm talking about. But despite these, all three films had well choreographed action scenes and the occasional comedy which makes Marvel what it's truly capable of. In fact, the first film did get pretty emotional as Captain America was about to crash into the ocean and ended up sleeping for about 40 years or so. But that all leads up to the next two films which took whatever the first one did and improved it by heaps. I mean heaps. So I guess the biggest question is, which movie did I like best? Well, in all honesty, it was a rather tough decision, but let's break it down to find out, shall we? First of all, what the second and third movie were able to do that really impresses me was taking a really huge cast and still somehow managing it really well. And that's really evident in the third movie as there's a whole huge cast of superheroes going against each other and not one superhero was left out. They all get ample amount of screen time and I felt it was really well done. And besides that, both the second movie, uh, Winter Soldier, and the third movie, Civil War, take a dark tone on the superhero genre. And in my opinion, the second movie did a better job overall because of Hydra as a corporation, making for a very formidable antagonist. And it makes the atmosphere of the movie really intense because of this anyone, just anyone, could be a bad person. And it doesn't feel safe no matter what. Well, the third movie does have that sort of dark tone as it emphasized on the vengeance that exists within the superheroes. I never felt the same level of dread as I did in the second movie. Next up, there are the action scenes, which the second movie did way better. In fact, I would go as far as to say that there are more action sequences in the second movie than in the first and third combined. And while the third movie still has abundant action sequences and they are really well done, don't get me wrong, they never seem to match up with the second movie. Hey, are you kidding me? The action scenes in the second movie, especially those in the elevator with Captain America taking down everyone in it, the fight scene between Captain America and Bucky on the street, the, even the subtle ship invasion at the beginning of the movie and most importantly, the second movie showed Nick Fury being a total badass. Which kind of leads to the major question, where the heck was Nick Fury in the third movie Civil War? He was one of the many reasons that made Winter Soldier such an awesome spectacle and he didn't appear at all in the Civil War? Like, what the heck? Did he just decide to go AWOL when the Avengers are in total disarray? That doesn't make any sense at all. But if there's one flaw in the second movie that I really hate is what I would call the Nick of Time cliche. And I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about. Captain America freaking stopped the helicopter at the last goddamn second. Seriously, movie makers, stop doing that. I know it uh, sort of builds up tension and keeps you at the edge of your seats, but it just feels like 
they, there's too much luck being involved right there. Really, too much luck being involved. And I really hate it. Just at least cut it down a bit, okay guys? On the other hand, why I said that the second movie has a lot of ups against the third movie, the tr third movie does have some really strong highlights. And those are, number one, the showcase of the new Spider-Man. My god, that guy is just hilarious and enjoyable to watch. Just, I mean, it fits Spider-Man's character so well, and just even though he appeared like all of a sudden and stuff, I just really liked the guy immediately after I saw him. Second, there is the showcase of Ant-Man's true power, which I'm not gonna say anything, so you guys just watch. And those of you who've watched the movie, you know what the heck I'm talking about. That was just awesome. And then there's the third one, which is probably the best scene in the entire movie. And that is the twist when they reveal who was involved in that car crash in 1991. That just blew my mind. It connected everything so well and it made the vengeance scenes so much more believable. In summary, the third movie Civil War portrayed the conflict between two opposing thoughts really well, but it got me wondering, why did it take so long for the United Nations to take action? Because they really seem to have problems back at uh, what happened in the Avengers uh, because of what, uh, how innocent people were being injured and damaged to property. Why didn't the United Nations uh, take action back then? It took them like uh, at least three disasters to take action on that. On the other hand, the second movie, Winter Soldier, made more sense because it is re there's really no set time for Hydra to finally start showing itself. And just to top it off, let's talk about Stan Lee's cameo in the second and third movie, which there is no competition. His cameo in the second movie was perfect. It was hilarious. It fits the scenario so well. And putting a cameo at that moment was just brilliant. So all in all, you can kind of tell that I prefer the second movie over the third movie. But does that mean that I dislike the third movie, Civil War? Absolutely not. If anything, I became a huge fan of Captain America after the second and third film. And in this video, I wanted to make a confession that I feel guilty for always questioning Captain America being a superhero because in my opinion, he's just physically better than the average human. And what's really special about him is basically his shield. But I guess even with that, he is shown to be able to do some really incredible stuff that honestly no normal person is able to do. And for that, I am really impressed and I have become a huge fan of Captain America. And with that, that ends my Captain America trilogy discussion. Let me know what you guys think about the three movies of Captain America. Did you enjoy it or did you not enjoy it? Leave them all in the comment section below. Also, let me know what you think of this video. And I guess I would not talk anymore because I want to keep this uh, video within 15 minutes because I'm still within the copyright strike period. So yeah, I can't really do anything about that. So I'll leave this video at that. And at the same time, I'm gonna wish everyone a happy Mother's Day. And do stay tuned to the next time of whatever I make. Until next time, bye!